And I'll go and look at stuff like that. Because you're actually taking some action. You're actually doing something. There's more people in the world since you got involved in doing what you're doing, putting this information out into the world. So I feel good about those. I don't feel as good about when people say, Mark, you're doing such a great job. You, thank you so much for this information. As I do when people say, say to me, I took an example from what you did and I did this. Or, you know, even if they say, I don't agree with what you did here and I did this instead. I would feel better about that. Because at least they're doing something instead of doing nothing. The armchair quarterbacking is going to do nothing to change our situation, folks. Get involved. Get on the field. Choose a side and get on the field to battle. Because this is a war. And if you don't understand that, you don't understand what's going on. You're in the middle of a spiritual war. And if you're doing nothing to put information out into the world to change other people's mindset and worldview, you are not helping. You're actually helping the other side. You're helping the dark side. If you say you want true freedom and you say you don't want tyranny, if you're not getting involved in actually putting something out there and doing something on the battlefield, then you're, you're actually helping the other side as far as I'm concerned. Because that's what they want in action. And I'm telling you, the people who are really running this show right now, the people who are, who are the owners, who are, who are the slave masters, these dark occultists are, are laughing themselves into a stupor. They are laughing so hard that they have people in the mindset that all they'll do is attack each other. Divide and conquer. And people could say, well, you're doing the same thing right now. No, I'm not, ladies and gentlemen. I am pointing it out to explain to people how stupid it is. And I'm not going to spend more time on this topic. Okay, I'm going to, future shows are going to be dealing with more information and information dense material. So I, this is the podcast where I'm trying to explain to people this is what we need to get out of doing. I'm explaining, these are the people who are doing this. These armchair quarterbacks and people who think everybody's a shill because they said one thing they don't agree with. Oh, he said he didn't talk about this aspect of, of this, and so he must be a shill in trying to hold that back. Well, it doesn't occur to somebody, maybe he didn't want to focus on that aspect, or maybe he doesn't even know about that aspect. No, that doesn't occur. You're automatically an agent of, of the state. You're automatically a shill or a disinfo agent. This is nonsense, total nonsense thinking. And I'm telling you, the real owners are just, they're pissing their pants. They, they, they are the belly laughs that I have personally heard come out of the mouth of occultists. I, I want to find somebody to draw for me a scene that I witnessed at a ritual that I attended. If there is any artist out there that could paint, etch, sketch, draw, you know, do a cartoon, I don't care, whatever. If there's any good visual artist that can paint, depict a picture of a ritual that I attended because I want somebody to try to put on paper the demented psych psychopathic evil laugh just to and maybe I'll even do, try to find some sound recording of the la of a laugh that can even approximate the laugh of this occultist that I once heard who was laughing at a cop who was actually guarding the house while the ritual was being conducted. He was actually laughing and calling this cop our pets. Our pets. While he was gorging himself on food and smoking a cigar. In this dark gray suit with this ugly tie and just... He, I, he looked like... You know the father from Harry Potter? You know, the, the uh, Harry Father's foster father, not his real father. You know, the, uh, um, the Dudleys, I think their name is. The Father Dudley. I can't remember what his name is, but that's what this guy, who that, this guy looked like, or at least reminded me of. And again, this was way before the Harry Potter stuff ever came out. In retrospect, thinking about his face, that is who he looked like. 
I would just love to have this drawn. I could describe the scene. I could describe what the inside of the place looked like. And I could describe how he was laughing at this person, where they were standing in relationship. And just maybe I could even, you know, go find a sound file to play the, uh, the, the belly laugh that I heard. I don't even want to try to approximate the belly laugh because, one, I will probably butcher it and not get it right. I'm going to go on... on sound pages and just try to find a deep laugh that approximates how this psychopath was laughing at this cop. And, and it just, like, if I could put somebody there for an instant, I just wish I could go back in time and just put somebody in that position to just show them who their owners are. I, it's, it's my only wish, to be honest. Because then your whole worldview would change in a heartbeat. You would see what you're, the level of evil and sickness that you're really up against, and you wouldn't waste one iota of energy nitpicking on the people who are actually trying to change this thing. So, you know, when people say, Mark, you get worked up about it, you get angry, you get bitter, all of those things. Yes. Because what are these people doing? The answer is absolutely nothing. And that's the problem. And you're damn right I'm going to be bitter about that because I've given my life up. I have given up my life to bring this information to people. Then you have other people that they hear a bit, a tiny piece of information and they then they don't even bother to go to your site to look at what what kind of a body of knowledge is there and they ask the most ridiculous of questions like do you have any information about mind control no I don't have any information about mind control you heard a, a half an hour interview I did and that's the question you go right to my contact page on my website you click that you know and and that's the first question that you ask you didn't bother to even look at the site uh, no, I don't have any information on mind control. I just spent a year and a half of my life breaking it down for people. A year and a half of my life to put shows together that deeply explain it and go through all of the methodologies that, it's, that are involved with it. But I, no, I don't have any information on mind control. This is who we're dealing with, people. These are the people who are... Who, who, People will say their heart's in the right place. They, they, they want to do the right thing. They want to learn. This is, this is who's on our team. This is who we have on our team. You know what this is? This, is, this show is and always has been a comedy hour. It's a, it's a comedy show for the dark occult. Laughing. Sa saying, look at what he's doing for nothing. Pissing themselves. Laughing. People think we're going to be free. You think we're going to be free? It's a big goddamn joke. People who think that. They're a big goddamn joke. And that's all I have to say. You know? On this topic. What I want to go through... And again, that's not the reason I even do this. I don't even do this because I think humanity is magically going to be free. I do this because... I'm speaking the truth, and I serve truth. That's the force I serve. I do not serve human beings. I don't even like human beings. Okay? I think human beings are devolved golems. The most, the, the, the vast majority of them on this planet. There are some very good beings on this planet who are truly working to help other people understand, to help get the truth out there to people, to serve truth, okay? There are some people who really understand true freedom. I consider them my brothers and sisters in this war. But most people are degenerated animals, and they deserve what happens to them. The problem, the moral issue that I have is that they're dragging other people into that total cesspool of suffering with them if they could do it it's very unfortunate that we're all one and we're all connected very unfortunate because if we could somehow separate from that dross from that chaff that isn't even really true humanity I don't know what it is it's again it's some degenerated animalistic golem uh, then it would be great because they could have what's coming to them and we could have what we really truly should have, which is true freedom and a world that is governed by the principles of non-aggression and 
actually then turn our lives over to doing what we really want to be doing instead of doing this which is saying the same thing over and over again over and over again to a bunch of ignorant asses who don't even want to understand or know and that's not what I consider good quality of life quite frankly you know and you say well that's selfish yeah it is there's nothing wrong with me wanting my life to do what I want with it instead of having to say the same thing over and over again to people who really don't want to understand it I'm doing this because I am not going to let truth be lost in the world and this is why other people are really doing it they have a responsibility to truth which is a responsibility that is higher than a responsibility to any other human being including one's self lowercase s my responsibility to myself does not supersede my responsibility to the truth. And which is why I'm going to keep talking. Don't think I'm going away. That's all the venting and the uh, vitriol that I want to get out there for today. Um, and again, it isn't to necessarily just to go on an attack or a rant. It's to point this out that this is a, a bad use of energy it's not I don't recommend it as a good use of people's energy go do something that's truly productive put this information out there for other people that's the reason why things aren't changing fast enough you're spending time nitpicking on stuff instead of putting information out there for people I don't even care if you don't have it all right you can go and edit it later. You can go and say, later, after I put this out, I reevaluated it. I no longer think this. I can go back and say, hey, information in podcast, whatever, number whatever. I didn't have this right. Please accept my apologies that I put out bad information. And here's my change. Here's my revision. You could always do that. You know? I feel like I waited too long to even start talking. I've said this before in the past. I, I sat on this knowledge for a while doing nothing until someone shook me out of that with vitriol with harsh words not with saying it's okay that you're doing that and not really speaking and you know all of this and you're doing nothing no they said hey what makes you think you can do that what makes you think you have a right and that you don't carry your responsibility to put this out there for other people that's how they said it to me and I thank them for saying that to me like that Pat from Virginia who I may not have I probably would have eventually you know woken up into action but it may not have been for another couple of years if that person didn't just say that to me in a vitriolic way so I think that's great and she might not even think it was a vitriolic way whatever you know I, I would say it, it wasn't it, at least pleasing to make me think that to stay comfortable in thinking I was doing the right thing because I wasn't Silence is not the right thing. And anybody that's an armchair quarterback who's staying silent, you're not helping. You're hurting the war effort, the spiritual war that's going on.